Detroit's bankruptcy case is working its way through federal court, and first responders have been forced to deal with the city's money woes for years. Instead of complaining, though, Detroit firefighters and medics, they pretty much just learned to go without, and we think they deserve better. Now, they are the bravest, so we are helping out our heroes and leading the way. Our very own Ronnie Dahl, she joins us live from downtown Detroit with some good news. Ronnie? Well, let's start off with when the city of Detroit recently reopened a couple firehouses. There was no money in the budget for furniture. The firefighters had to go shop the secondhand stores. Well, they got me wondering about this place, Detroit's new public safety headquarters. Do you think there's any salvaged furniture in there? In 2010, the city of Detroit bought the old MGM building. After getting a $60 million facelift, last year employees started setting up shop in the new Detroit Public Safety Headquarters. When they moved in, they didn't get furniture from abandoned homes or the neighbor's trash. They got nice new furniture, $2.5 million worth. Even the outside furniture is new, and look, it all matches. Cute. But there has never been money in the city's coffers to provide comfortable furniture at area firehouses and medic units. It's up to employees to get it, and that's not all they pay for. We run out of cleaning supplies on a regular basis. We even still have difficulty getting toilet paper at the fire stations. I know Friday there was no toilet paper at the station I worked at. Action News is committed to helping our heroes. Today we're stopping by Medic 21 and dropping off some much needed furniture. All of theirs had to be thrown away recently due to bed bugs. We don't have the disposable incomes to, you know, when we have a, a situation like bed bugs to completely replace furniture. I mean, you know, everybody's challenged here, not just the city, but the city workers. Now, instead of spending their shifts sitting inside the ambulance, hardworking medics can enjoy a few moments of relaxation on a comfy couch or in a reclining chair. We get a fair share of shootings and stabbings and children getting shot. So, you know, just to be able to come back to your station for a few minutes, collect your thoughts, and uh, just, you know, shut out the rest of the world for a little bit, that means a lot. And you know what? The medics and the firefighters, they mean a lot to us. And when I heard about them running out of toilet paper, you've got to be kidding me. I was told they were only given one case a month for the entire firehouse. Well, someone donated this case here. And you know what? I'm going to be dropping it off at that firehouse, an entire case. Anyone else? You run out? Any other firehouse? Let me know. I'll go see if they have some extra in there. <laughs> for now, we're live in downtown Detroit. Back to you. Yeah, check the third floor, Ronnie. I bet you there might be some <laughs> extra ones up there. Thank you. Thank you. Our efforts to help our heroes continues this week with a special live phone bank that's planned for tomorrow. If you'd like to help, you can call in and donate money to help our heroes. 7 Action News is teaming up with Engine 40 Foundation, so all of that money will be sure to go to the firehouses in the city of Detroit. So join us tomorrow from 3.30 until 6.30 for the Firefighters Phone Bank. Good time. Absolutely.